I would use a razor, a uh, texturizing razor in your hair, incorporate into your haircut when you want to create volume, when you want to create texture, when you want to maybe remove uh, weight. So to explain that better, if somebody has a faux hawk or a messy haircut where they're going to create like a messy like bedhead look, you can go in and uh, cut the hair and then finish it with a, sh a razor over comb or take sections and incorporate a, a texturizing technique with the razor. Now if you have someone that wants to, if you've already cut the hair and there's an area that bumps or there's weight, as opposed to going in with a shear or a clipper, you can take that section of hair by over directing past the, the problem area, come back, hit it with the, the razor to remove weight. Now let's say you want to create some volume, take sections or the bangs for example in a, in a pompadour or a comb over. Comb the hair forward, you're going to want to go from, from shortest to longest to kind of carve or slice a portion to create volume in the front, uh, overall the overall haircut, whatever whatever you're looking to do. Same with a faux hawk. If you want to create texture, sh uh, razor over a comb is always good. Again, you can take sections to create texture. Gives you options. A, a razor is, is exciting for barbers to use. They tend not to use it. It's kind of like a more of a stylist thing. That's not the way to think about it. You gotta incorporate it into your into your whole game plan to be different, to create different styles, technique. So your your client and other clients watching you will know you're different than the next person.